There are 81 reasons to fall in love with Turkey and number 65 is one. Mm -hmm. ah. The oldest toilet. Van. Yes, not van like the car, but more like Van the province that is located in eastern Anatolia and famous for so many things. The best breakfast in the country, the largest lake of Turkey, many historical treasures and of course their cats. But there's more. Our first stop will actually be an island. Akdamar, one of the four islands that is situated in one lake and only accessible by boat. So they say that the ferry comes every half an hour, but there's not really a schedule. And most probably we're going to wait until more people come. We finally made it to the ferry <laughs> and we bought some traditional bread, Pandere Ekmei, and it's really, really good. I also bought a hat so that I can look like a Tam tourist. It's very important. Bir video çekebilir miyim? The main attraction that you will find on the island is of course the Armenian Holy Cross Cathedral from the 10th century. It is one of the remainings of the great Armenian kingdom that ruled this area until 1895. This cathedral might be a religious symbol but also represents the art and culture of the island. The most remarkable thing about this church is actually the exterior because you can see scenes carved into the walls from the Holy Bible. In terms of medieval Armenian architecture, this is definitely one of the masterpieces that were created during this time. It is possible to go inside the church, so I would say let's do it. It is very impressive. Here we have a chapel. There are actually multiple rooms in this cathedral. Wow. So we actually decided to rent a car here in Van because it's the easiest way to get around and to see most of the sites that are located in the province. They gave us pretty demolished car, like there's a crack in the front window. There is like something wrong basically everywhere. But uh, yeah, this really makes me miss my own car. <laughs> So we are now on our way to a historical site here in Van actually to we are driving like in the middle of nowhere. There's like nothing around, <laughs> not even some trees. <laughs> so let's see where this takes us. <laughs> arrived in Chavush Tepe, it's like 25 kilometers from Van Lake. We are on top of a hill because here is the Chavush Tepe Kalesi, which is like an ancient palace of the Uartin kingdom from the 8th century BC. So it's extremely old. Oh my god, I should do more sports. Whew. It is a very important site. Merhaba! <laughs> and then we met a man who lives next to the castle. Ah, ne güzel ya! Wow! <laughs> Harika! Siz burada yaşıyor musunuz? Ben 60 yıldır burada çalışıyorum. Gerçekten çok güzel. Siz son uğur artulu musunuz? Evet. Wow! Biz yedi kişi kaldık. Aa. Ben genç olduğum için hep dış ülkelere gönderiliyorum. Evet. Beş defa Amerika'da konferans yaptım. Hollanda, Almanya. Hemen de sonra bir şehir var. Orada da yaptım. Belçika'da yaptım. 
Ama Japonya'ya gidemedim çünkü hastalık var, gidemedik. Hı hı. Ve burada çalışıyorum. Çok güzel gerçekten. The ancient kingdom of Uatu is actually known for its massive fortresses and one of them can be found here in Çavuş Tepe. Burada Dingir, Urartular Dingir Gat, Tanrı. Adınız ne? Mehmet Kuşman. Kaç yaşındasınız? 82. Oo. Ve siz hepsi yapıyorsunuz? Hepsi burada yapıyorum. Wow. Her iki taşın bir satırı aldım. Hı hı. Dingir, Tanrı demektir. İrmuşini, Eyniye, Susinia, Sardurişe, Argüştini. Argüş de oğlu Sardur, o tapınağı Tanrı İrmuşini için yaptı diyor. Almanya'dan geliyor bu. <gülüyor> çok iyi ya. Yani çok insan geliyor mu buraya? Evet. Her gün mü? Evet, evet çok. Hı. Sizden çok önce İspanyol vardı. Hı hı. Ondan daha önce Avustralya vardı. Daha önce Türk vardı. Hı. Geliyor, evet. Bunun için 200 TL ödebiliyor muyum? Fiyatı neyse o. Bura 300 indirim yapmıyorum. Aa, evet. Teşekkürler. Ya. 3. Evet. Çok Şöyle teşekkürler. Bakın, aynaya bakın. Ama bu burada olacaktı. Aynen evet. Böyle. Daha kısa yapacağım. Biraz kısa yaparsın. Aha. Çok teşekkürler. İyi günler. <gülüyor> bye bye. It's extremely hot here. I think 36 degrees. I'm dying because of the heat. This fortress is made out of cut stones, which you can see here and there. And it was divided into a lower and an upper castle. So here we have found the oldest toilet of history. So we came to Chavush Tepe without any expectations and we met Mehmet here who is one of the last Ur Artus who is still living next to the castle and doing these self-made handcrafts that he is selling. We bought something like this and <laughs> it was really amazing to meet him and whenever you come here make sure to check out his place as well or maybe he's even going to show you around. Now we are going to a different place. It's gonna be another castle. There are a lot of castles here in Van. And yeah, let's go, I would say. I have never in my life seen something like this. The castle of Hoshab. We came here from the road to the small town of Güzelsu and we saw the castle on top of the hill. This is a medieval castle built by the Kurdish architect Mahmudi Süleyman and the legend says that the authorities actually cut his hands off so he couldn't build another castle that would be maybe even more beautiful than the Hoshab castle. It was really that stunning and still is. Van is known for its historical sites, but they also have one of the cutest fur friends around, the Van Cats. <laughs> Since I am destined to become a crazy cat lady eventually, I thought I'd come here to practice my faith. Inside the Van Cat house you can spend some time and play around with the two colored ice cats and you can learn a little bit more about the features of Van Cats from the stuff there. The Van Cat is a domestic cat and also known as the swimming cat as people have seen them swim in Lake Van. It's like a research facility where they are doing research about this cat breed and they are actually breeding the cats here and also taking care of street animals. Hazemasunas! <laughs> Van cats are a very special breed of cats because they are usually white and they have like two different eye colors. Oh my god, they're going crazy. It's much more difficult than I thought to feed the cats. Wow. Ah. Welcome to Francie's Food Review. Are you ready for the best breakfast of your lifetime? 
Yes, of course. I'm so excited. I'm also super excited. We are here at the Mat Bar Van Karwalte restaurant in Van. Mat Bar Hunne demek? Mat Bar Osmanlı da mutfak demek. Ah, mutfak. Ah, anladık. Tamam. We heard it's one of the best Karwalte restaurants that you can find in whole Turkey. So we have really high expectations. We just ordered. A Van Karwaltese, you have two options, Anadolu Serpme Karwalte or Van Karwaltese. Also there are some ladies in the kitchen preparing the breakfast. You can basically watch them and see how they are doing it. Teşekkürler. Bu mutua mı? Yok. Ah. Ah, tamam. Bu? Yumurta, kavurmalı yumurta. Aha. Ve bu ne? Tereya. Tereya? Ah. Kaymak. Bu kaymak? Kaymak. Bu da bal. Anladık. Wow. <laughs> so when you come to Van, obviously it is a crime to leave Van if you didn't have the Van Karwaltese. Van breakfast, a true feast with more than 20 dishes of delicious and organic ingredients from local cheese to fresh herbs that are unique to the region. They have a really big, fresh, local breakfast. And what makes Van Karwaltese so special are a few things that you can see on the table here. Jajiki, right? Jaju. Jaju. Kavut. And we just learned that it's basically like the Eastern style of cereal. Mutua. It's basically eggs with flour yeah. and butter. Afedosun. <laughs> Afedosun. <laughs> Amutua, yes. I want to try it also. Wow, the consistency is so different. So buttery. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's interesting taste. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's it? Mm -hmm. The only thing that's really unusual for me is having meat for breakfast because in Germany we usually don't eat like this kind of meat for breakfast and here they put kavuma into the eggs it looks like a whole lunch meal or dinner meal to me get check them harika çok tadı çok taze the castle of Van. It is over 3000 years old and was once used for the kingdom of Uartu. The castle was built between the 7th and the 9th century BC and it was made out of basalt, stone and mud bricks, which means that this is the biggest fortress made out of this material in this area. The archaeological excavations and some studies that were made here found out that the human settlement goes back to as far as 5000 BC. Also Van's old name was Tushpa and Tushpa used to be the capital of the Uartian kingdom. So here we finally are at the place that makes this castle so much more special, the inscriptions of the kingdom of Uartu. It is a little bit difficult to see, but the inscription was written in three different languages in the fifth century BC, which makes it really, really extraordinary. And the amazing thing about it is that you can still read it. It was not completely restored and it survived all the centuries. impressive waterfall in Van, which is the Muradie Shilalesi, also known as the Muradian Falls. The waterfalls were named after Sultan Murad IV, who ruled the Ottoman Empire in the 17th century. Today it's a pretty impressive sight. The waterfalls are pretty high and 
they say it's even more impressive in winter because they partly get frozen and it looks just magical, I guess. The Muradia waterfalls are around 80 kilometers far away from the city center and there's no entrance fee. Kusum Chapatasinya! Tunduma Yosun! Ay Baksana! Chapatasin! There's also a hanging bridge over the waterfall. Is it so safe? I'm not sure. <laughs> but wow, it's quite the adventure. There's a beautiful river below us. Right now looking at Christina standing in front of a wide blue lake. <laughs> we found this place by accident because there are quite a lot of camping places around the lake in Van. This place is called Bienya. We paid like 300 teller for one night, two people, including all of the tent equipment, the mat and the sleeping bag, of course. So Van Lake is the largest lake in Turkey, but not only that, it's also the largest soda lake in the entire world. The salt concentration of the lake is at around 23 grams per liter and the pH value is at around 10, which makes the water perfect for washing and some local communities even use it now for washing their clothes. So the question is why is the Van Lake so famous? There are a few reasons for that. The one lake is actually a saline soda lake, which means that it gets streams from all around the mountains. So yes, the Van Lake is very big in size. It is over 3000 square meters big and actually it contains 38% of Turkey's water surface. We are also at a quite high altitude, 1610 meters, which means that it's getting really cold here in winter, but at the same time, the lake will not freeze because of its high salt concentration. This is probably the most peaceful place that we could have found here in Van. It's really, really nice. Gerçekten çok güzel. That's it from Van. See you next time.